Well, I'm kind of an amateur blacksmith. I think every amateur should have a goal of making a cording candle, making a set of tongs, and making something else, like a fire poker. So I was on my way to a wedding. I thought we'd stop off uh, about two years ago and uh, do a little blacksmithing. I wanted to give something back to YouTube because I really enjoy a lot of the great videos on YouTube, and I thought this would be a, a great thing to show my cording candle jig. Before I left, I searched YouTube for some videos on making cording candle, and there was no jig, there was no simple way to do it. And when I got there, I got a one inch mandrel and uh, started to wrap some uh, quarter inch rod around it that I heated up in a coal forge, and it was just kind of a disaster. It wasn't, it was going to take me all, all day to make a uh, corny candle and it was going to come out crummy. So what I did was I took the mandrel and drilled holes in it, spaced out, and I squared up the bottom. Eventually I left a little notch so this will catch the quarter inch rod as, as you get started. And I eventually ended up using a clamp or something on there to make it a little bit better. And I put these quarter inch rods in there and I sort of positioned it flat. But what had happened was that these rods were just falling out. So I took a little bead of uh, weld on there and then put this in the vise where gravity was pushing down on there and that seemed to work out pretty well. And one thing I discovered was that for me, it was too hard to do it in a coal fire. So I got a acetylene torch and was wrapping it that way. First I got the rosebud and I think somebody changed tips and I was just using a regular tip. But a key to this is when you're wrapping this around, you have to keep the heat right where the bend is because if you sort of just lever it around, what it's going to do is going to go off on a tangent and it's come back it's going to be kind of square looking. So keep the heat right where you're turning. And then on this one, what I did was I went under one pin and uh, came around and went on top of the other side. So it was under on this side, top on the other side, and that kept uh, things uh, pretty evenly spaced because they've got to be symmetric. And uh, a couple candles I made, I think, uh, I don't know, this might have been the first one, and I didn't know what to do with this thing, so I came up with uh, this, put a couple leaves on there. I took one inch rod and had to grind it a little bit, and then I cleaned it up on the belt sander, and then that just works fine, just drilled a hole and stuck a little handle in there, and put it on a quarter inch uh, square base welded it on. I was going to try and make the just the rod where it came down in a spiral and was the base but uh, well, I wasn't doing too well with that. And then I think I made this one and I just put a handle on there and I made them kind of long. <clears throat> I think this is the last one I made. I took a square piece of metal, used it as a form and I bent some heavy sheet metal around it, uh, welded it down, welded a handle on there. Uh, again, I did a treatment like this with kind of a spiral and a leaf, and when you bring this up, it'll hit there and stop of it. Now, it was not intended to be that way, but you know, maybe that's a good feature. I don't know. So we're going to show you how I did it, and I hope you enjoy the video. And I am uh, going to give back uh, to YouTube by posting this, but first we're going to have a brief commercial uh, message or a shameless book promotion, uh, whichever your point of view. Girls, you got a great guy and he sometimes doesn't seem to get it. Doesn't do exactly what you want. And you may want to get him a book and something to the tune of How to Improve Your Relationship written by five female psychologists. You know, the thing is, if you do that, you're not getting it. I mean, you want to do it fine, just tell him, read this book when you get a chance. Then it'll give you an out and him an out, you know. 
But what he really wants is a book like this. Knife Mechanisms, just load it up. It's available several places, or you can go to uh, knifemechanisms.com and contact me if you can't find it. And there's a free PDF download of one chapter. Uh, he can see if he likes it. So let's go out and look at how to make a cording candle with a cording candle jig. Okay, these are the holes. I had them pretty straight by eye. The last one didn't, didn't seem to make it. But um, quarter inch holes, quarter inch rod. Uh, spacing is one inch. And here's one of the rods with a glob of uh, weld on it. I square up the base so it fits in the vise really well. And I put that notch on there. That is a little bit too big for a quarter inch rod, but you could come up with a better idea of that. Like I say, I, I put a, a jig on. That's, that's how these things fall out. So you have to have this weld thing. Oh, they, they, they fall out. So. If you're familiar with the cording candle history, you know that there is no connection to cording. Kind of a myth, sort of like Santa Claus, but that's another fun myth. So enjoy a cording candle there. A really neat piece of blacksmith art. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put these pins in like this here. All right, so uh, I'm going to load this thing up with pins, and then we're going to uh, uh, get going here uh, just a second. Okay, and they go, let me see here, they go like this. There, uh-huh. And we're just going to... Okay, girls, you want to be famous? All right, movie time. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. These are the women. These are real women. Get a couple of these turns. Yeah, 
It looks like uh, they're pretty even. This one's a little tight. I, I, the more I do this, the, the better I get. But they're pretty even. And uh, look on this side. This one is tight. This is a big space in here. There's a space there. And I may, may want to tweak that a little bit. And now this thing is really hot. We just got done doing it, and it, the whole thing is hot. But you can't get it off. It's going to be like a Chinese handcuff uh, to try it and get it off. Okay, I'm wearing gloves, and I got a flat shovel.